everyone welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel my channel as usual is about information and this video is quite late it's supposed to I've supposed to have uploaded it on Friday but I've actually been responding to so many emails I have not even had the time to do the video and um, I'm even considering reducing the number of videos I put out every week so that I can have time to respond to people's emails and inquiries and stuff like that so if I've not responded to your email you know that I have so many emails I've received which I have not responded to that's why and I hope I respond to your email as soon as possible so today um, it's just a short one I want to um, talk about some fun facts about um, living in Manitoba and living in Canada and just some general things I'll be driving around my neighborhood and, I, and then I'll be talking about them um, hopefully so this is an example of a townhouse yeah this is how townhouses look like it's, it's um, they are in a stack of like stack of, like all the stack of rules or whatever this is how townhouses looks look like in in Canada so when you see something like this just know it's a townhouse and they are quite cheap very cheap in in Manitoba if you are renting a townhouse like this you'll be paying um, um, you'll be paying like I think you'll be paying let me just even say how much we pay we are paying about seven hundred and eighty five dollars and I hope to do a tour of our townhouse very soon so this is how a townhouse looks like And then another thing you know, another thing about Canada and Manitoba is that a lot of people like going for camping trips during summer. A lot of people take their RVs, and this is an example of an RV. So they take their, this is an example of an RV. They take their RVs and go for summer. They take their boats. There are, there are a thousand and there are several lakes in Manitoba, and a lot of people go fishing and stuff like that during summer because during this period is when everybody comes out and then before the cold starts again so this is what happens then what you're seeing here these are storage units so for somebody who is moving out and has so many things um, and you feel that your where you're moving to is quite small you can hire one of these self storage units and store your things and be paying like $30 per month or $40 per month depending on where the storage unit is located so that's one thing you also need to know about um, living in Canada and living in Manitoba. So in rural communities like this one, um, the speed limit is about 50. So you shouldn't go below, you shouldn't go above 50 for the speed limit. I want to show you something so this four bedroom townhouse it's in a community that is close to Winnipeg about 25 minutes drive and you can see the price is going for $1,050 per month this is what you get if you live outside of the city center the housing outside the city center of Winnipeg is quite cheaper than um, inside Winnipeg so this this is a four bedroom townhouse and it's going for $1,050 and this four bedroom townhouse contains almost everything. There's a type of housing called 55 plus bungalows and the 55 plus housing are for people who are 55 years and above who have retired. You know in Canada um, when people reach certain age they don't want to live amongst other people so they prefer to go and live where their age mates are living so uh, 55 plus housing has um, just maybe like um, two bedroom you know just a small apartment and this is an example of 55 plus housing I hope you can see that yeah so this is an example of 55 plus housing in Canada
this is an example of an apartment building yeah it's an example of an apartment building Another thing about housing is that if you buy your house, most times the garage will not be completed, the basement will not be completed, you have to do the landscaping yourself. So that's one thing a lot of people should be aware of. It's not just buying a house. I'll talk about I think I'll talk about buying how buying a house later, what and what it entails um, in Canada. So these are mailboxes. If you live in an apartment or a townhouse or any kind of um, detached housing, um, most times the mailboxes are put together and are stationed outside the house. But if you live in a condo, condos are high-rise buildings and most of the condos they have where they keep their mailbox inside the condo uh, apartment building. So for this, this and each person is assigned to a mailbox by Canada Post. So this is where you receive your mails. If you have any correspondence from anybody, from the government, from your healthcare provider, from anything, anything you do, this this is where you get your mails from. So you, you have a key to your mail, and then even if, if you order something from Amazon, you can also receive it in your mailbox. They have this safe, would I, would I call it safe box? The big sizes. If you order anything from Amazon, they'll put it in the big portion of the mailbox and then put a small key in your own mailbox with which you'll be able to access the um, the big mailbox to pick your package up if you order anything that is bigger than your mailbox size. So this is how the mailboxes look like and um, yeah, so I think this is what I want to share and then sometimes you can also receive um, newspapers flyers a lot of things a lot of uh, promotional items the advertising so many things even walmart all these big shops they send out their flyers of what they have for sale like um, if you have if they have um, sale items for sale maybe if they want to sell chicken for two dollar or one dollar they also put them put those things in your mailbox and if you don't like it you can put them in the recycle bin by the side of the mailbox so I'm standing at the park. This is where children come to play. I'm going to show you. So this is where people can come and hang out. And fun fact, there are mosquitoes in Manitoba. But the mosquitoes, they don't give malaria. So there are mosquitoes in Manitoba, they don't give malaria. So that's one fact about Manitoba. This is more like where people come out, hang out, and have their picnics. This is one of his, this is a small community, and these are the things that they have in this community. So, I will go. So during, during summer, they open the splash pad for people for people who feel too hot and the kids just come out and play this is the splash pad um, yeah so this is the splash pad and you'll find this in almost every neighborhood and every community where children just go to um, like play and hang out you'll find it in almost every community So this is nature at its peak. For people who love nature, this is where you can come and hang out. There are several places like this, but this is where I prefer to come hang out and just have a quiet time. And you know, bring your things, come, have a nice time, have snacks with your family. And then when you're done, you can leave and go. So this is what I enjoy about living in, 
in Canada. Nobody is stressing you. Nobody is disturbing you. Your children have all that it takes to succeed and thrive. And you yourself, you're also in an environment where you can succeed and thrive. And yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.